This illustration deals with the layout of the NEC in accordance with NEC 90.3. Notice that the NEC is divided uh, into the introduction, uh, including nine chapters. Chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4 uh, apply generally. Chapters 5, 6, and 7 apply to special occupancies and uh, special equipment and other special uh, type conditions. The latter chapters supplement or modify the general rules. Chapters 1 through 7 apply, uh, except is amended by chapters 5, 6, and 7 for a particular condition. Chapter 8 covers communication systems and is independent of the other uh, chapters except where they are specifically referenced, and that's usually always under uh, like if it was communications, it'd be 800.3. If it was uh, class one, two, and three circuits, it'd be 725.3 and so forth. But now, basically speaking, uh, chapter one, the general requirements apply throughout the code unless it's previously stated a chapter or section uh, would modify uh, chapter one. Chapter two, Wiring and protection is usually the design chapter in the electrical industry. Of course now design could be uh, mainly by an engineer, but it could be a contractor or even an electrician uh, adding circuits and branch circuits and uh, outlets for lighting and plugs and so forth. Chapter 3 is wiring methods and materials and uh, chapter 3 basically belongs to the electrician, so to speak. In other words, the electrician, after the plans of the facility has been outlined in chapter two, the electrician uses chapter three wiring methods and materials to install the electrical system. Chapter four is general purpose equipment, and it's all equipment that is installed in a facility except chapter five equipment, such as hazardous locations, health care facilities, and so forth. Chapter 6 is special equipment, and basically uh, you can't find any of the Chapter 6 special equipment in um, Chapters 5 and 4, but it can intermix and uh, uh, be installed within uh, Chapter 4 and Chapter 5 equipment. Chapter 7 is special equipment that is interfaced with uh, all the chapters. And of course, you know, that'd be like class one, class two, uh, class three circuits, emergency six systems, legally required standby systems, uh, and other type systems that fall under the 700 series in chapter seven. And then as previously stated, chapter eight stands alone, and we never leave chapter eight without we're referred out to one of the other chapters for particular requirements, maybe for grounding or uh, other pertinent uh, chapters that would need to be used with chapter 8, which is uh, communication uh, type systems. Now this is basically the layout of the code and NEC 90.3 would uh, outline what you see in this illustration.